Good day folks, I just quickly want to make a quick little video about iOS 12 that got released yesterday and its compatibility with the Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom. Um, I had this out a few times uh, yesterday after the update and it worked perfectly well. The DJI Go 4 app runs perfectly well on iOS 12. Now one interesting thing I want to show you here, on the Mavic 2 Pro, uh, when you film in the H.265 codec, it uh, won't play natively, or it didn't play natively on iOS devices. This is the iPhone 8 here. This is the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. Uh, so it's the latest iPad Pro. If you tried to play the H.265, you would just get that uh, spinning circle. It wouldn't play natively. Now there are some workarounds around that, and I'll kind of maybe just show you them quickly here at the end of the video. But now the really interesting thing is, after the iOS 12 update, the iPhone 8 now supports that H.265 video shot on the Mavic 2 Pro. Now it does support H.265 video from other devices, but the Mavic 2 Pro for some reason it wouldn't play. But now as you can see here, it plays it just fine after the iOS 12 update. So that's really interesting. However, on the iPad Pro 10.5 inch, it doesn't. It still does not accept that codec. So the main difference then I guess is the iPad Pro 10.5 inch uses the A10X Fusion chip and the iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 are using the A11 uh, Bionic chip, so that's probably the difference there. But rumor is there's going to be some new iPad Pros released in October, and uh, of course they're going to have an updated chip in it, and uh, they should be able to support video shot on the Mavic 2 Pro if the iPhones now support it with iOS 12. Now what you can do is you can uh, use your LumaFusion. If you go to your content that you've shot, as you can see there, that's the H.26 video and it plays just fine. So you can edit in LumaFusion and uh, edit your H.265 video that was shot on the Mavic 2 Pro. Alternatively, if you don't own LumaFusion, it costs $20. You can just use iMovie. All you do is open up a new video file. You import your H.265 video. You can see iMovie can play the H.265 video just fine. And what you can do is now just re-export it. It's going to compress it down a bit and uh, save it as an H.264. Uh, your bit rate is going to be quite a bit lower. Uh, it's about 100 in H.265. Once it converts it to H.264 when it's saving it, it's going to be sitting around the 30 uh, megabits per second mark. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But it will be reduced, so you got to keep that in mind. Well, folks, like I said, just a quick video to let you know that uh, the iOS 12 does work fine with the Mavic 2 Pro and the DJI Go 4 app, and that it makes the H.265 video from the Mavic 2 Pro playable and editable on your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10. Unfortunately, not the iPad Pro, but uh, I'm sure the new uh, series that are coming this fall will be compatible. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We'll see you in the next one.